I'm going to tell you what could possibly happen if a pulsar entered our solar system. Without any further talk, let's get started, shall we? Pulsars are rotating neutron stars observed to have pulses of radiation at very regular intervals that typically range from milliseconds to seconds. If a pulsar randomly enters our solar system, it won't be visible to us with naked eyes unless it is very close to the Earth because it is a type of a neutron star which will be an average of 20 km in diameter. Pulsars have very strong magnetic fields which funnel jets of particles out along two magnetic poles. These accelerated particles produce very powerful beams of light. Now when you on Earth can see the pulsar and its beam, it would appear to you as if it is twinkling or turning on and off like a light bulb. This is because you would only see the beam when it is pointing towards your direction. This has also been termed as the lighthouse effect. Here is a diagram which shows how the lighthouse effect makes the pulsar look like it is being turned off and on and off and on as it is rotating rapidly. The beams would go to all the directions but because the beams aren't scattered all around and are straight, it appears as if it is twinkling on and off. But I am sorry to say that you would be long gone even before you could take out your telescope and take a glance on it. Why so? Because pulsar's extreme gravity will for sure disrupt our orbit. But long before the pulsar got close enough to disrupt our orbit and for you to watch it through naked eyes, you would be dead from radiation. The surface temperature of a pulsar is estimated at about 1 million kelvins. And the spinning pulsar has an incredibly strong magnetic field, generating huge radio pulses as it spins. As it reaches close to the Earth, Earth will undergo mass extinction due to radiation. However, the ultra-dense neutron star would most likely pass right through the Sun. The Sun would explode due to the shock waves from the neutron star. That is also why I said it will disrupt our orbits. Now after life is gone, Earth would be bathed in ionizing radiation, much brighter than the Sun's, and the magnetic field would ionize and strip our upper atmosphere while the pulsar was further away than Pluto. The planet would be sterilized and if the pulsar hung around, the oceans would eventually dry off and the ocean life would be long gone too. Let's assume that it would not collide with the sun and cause extra devastation. Then, surprisingly, if we were lucky and the pulsar zipped by at some distance, life might still survive at the bottom of the oceans where the radiation would be mitigated and perhaps enough atmosphere would remain to allow eventual recolonization of the surface. But you don't need to freak out boys because the nearest pulsar lies in the direction of the constellation Cetus at a distance of about 85 parsecs or 280 light years and it is less likely to get even a little close to us. The nearest pulsar's name however is oh my god I can't pronounce this. Hey guys the video technically hasn't ended yet. This is of course a mere hypothesis, a theory explaining what could be the consequences. Now I want you to do me a favor, okay? Drop anything that comes to your mind in the comment section about what would happen if a pulsar enters our solar system, whether it's a fact or just your own imagination. Don't go off disliking the video because in science we welcome theories. Now be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking at our logo right here or subscribe below. See you in another interesting video. Peace out.